just a few weeks ago, I had an opportunity to go to London, is it called London? London, Ontario, Canada, to be with Brother Joshua uh, Mills at their revival camp meeting. And I, I don't know about them, but I had a glorious time. Amen. And it was a time of change for me and also a time of challenge. And I believe that tonight that you will be challenged. And I believe that great miracles will happen here tonight. And some have already found a miracle, a man, a diamond or a ruby or something. And um, so God pours out wonderful things from heaven, amen. But the most wonderful thing is Jesus himself, amen. He's the most wonderful thing is Jesus himself, and we've come to embrace Jesus, amen. And uh, I believe that Brother Joshua, his worship to the Lord and his love of worship provoked me to a new place in God, amen to desire that worship, to worship God. And so as he comes tonight, let your heart, your mind, and your thoughts be towards Jesus and worship him. And I believe that where the presence of Jesus is, the Spirit of God, there is liberty, and there is an open heaven for him to pour down the precious things of heaven whether it be healing or whether it be a diamond or whether it be gold dust or silver dust, whatever and however he wants to pour out, we want to be ready to receive it. Amen. Amen. There's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful presence and atmosphere of Jesus. Amen. And Brother Joshua, thank you for coming. Sister Janet. Your blessing. Thank you for coming. Let's give them a great big warm welcome as they come tonight. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory. <laughs> oh, Jesus is wonderful in this place tonight. He's so wonderful in this place tonight. It's him that we've come to worship. It's him that we've come to glorify. It's Jesus that we've come to magnify and to adore. It's Jesus that we've come to love. It's his face that we've come to look into. And you know, our praise and our worship, it changes the atmosphere. And takes us from the natural over into the realm of the spirit over into that realm of the divine supernatural that realm of miracles that realm of glory and in the glory we find everything that we need there's not one thing that we would be lacking when we step into that realm of his presence into that atmosphere of heaven oh Jesus <laughs> glory glory why don't you stand up tonight and lift your hands into that cloud of glory that's coming down lift your hands into that realm of heaven Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Oh, come on, let's welcome him into this place tonight. We create that realm of glory with our praise and our worship as we lift up our voice to the heavenly. Holy Spirit, welcome Holy Spirit, I am in your presence, come on invite me, fill
this place tonight as our praise and as our worship goes up into the heavenlies as it rises into the cloud of his glory oh that praise oh that worship it causes rain to come forth and that rain that comes forth from the heavens Oh, it's a creator glory. It's a creator glory. You see, it's a creator glory that comes forth. Because as we sing that new song to him, it's a creator praise that is going up. And it's a creator praise that's bringing forth creative worship. And that creative worship ushers in the realm of creative glory. A creative glory. And in that place of creative glory, oh, we find the creative miracles, the creative power of God. Oh, Holy Spirit, do. Holy Spirit, do what you want to do. Holy Spirit, do. Oh, there. 
there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. There's a miracle around that's falling in this place. There's a miracle around that's falling in this place. It's His glory. Oh, come on, lift your hands up tonight and touch it. There's a miracle around that's falling in this place. There's a miracle around that's falling in this place. There's a miracle around that's falling in this place. It's His glory.
first financial breakthrough that's coming right now. I see it over here. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. There's financial breakthrough that's coming. There's financial breakthrough. Financial breakthroughs that are happening right now. Right now. Right now in the glory. Philippians 4.19 says, And my God shall supply for my needs according to his riches and glory. It's in his glory where we find that our needs are being met. It's in his glory where we find that our needs are being met. It's not a step before his glory. It's not a step after. But it's in his glory, in his glory. And I'll tell you one thing tonight. Well, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. There's a miracle around that's falling in this place. There's a miracle around that's falling in this place. And it's His glory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. There's a miracle around that's falling in this place. There's a miracle around that's falling in this place. It's His glory.
It's not by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Oh, we don't have to help the Holy Spirit. We don't have to help him do what he wants to do. We just have to put our hands up and surrender and say, Jesus, come and do whatever it is that you want to do. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way in this place. Have your way inside of me. Have your way in my life. Oh, that miracle realm is falling in this place. Even as we praise and as we worship, we're building that cloud. We're creating that realm. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. It's the miracle realm. And in the miracle realm, anything can happen. Sometimes we don't have the faith to believe for what God wants to do because we really don't even know what he wants to do. It says in the Bible that no eye has seen and no ear has heard those things that God wills and wants to do. But then it goes on to say, but he has revealed it by his spirit. How many know he's revealing it to us in the glory? With our natural mind, we can't understand and we don't know what he wants to do because you can't figure God out. That's why he's God and you're not. <laughs> but he's revealing it to us by his spirit. As we come into his presence, as we come into the glory, he's revealing what he wants to do. Oh, that's why we see these creative miracles happening. That's why the gold dust is falling. That's why the diamonds and the jewels and the precious stones are coming. That's why he's touching your body and making you whole. Because it's what he wills. 
And he's revealing these things to us by his spirit. We just have to come into line with what he wants to do. We just have to join our hands with God and say, Holy Spirit, come and do what it is that you want to do. Turn with me in your Bible tonight to Genesis. How many know that the Word of God is good? It's the only sure word. There's many words out there, but there's only one holy word. And that's the Bible. That's the Word of God. My situations and my circumstances, they change. Oh, but the Word of God, it remains the same forever. Forever. Open your Bible with me to Genesis 1. Genesis 1 is the beginning. That's what it says in my Bible. Probably says the same thing in yours. If you're going to start somewhere, how many know that it's pretty good to start in the beginning? You might as well get the full story. Amen. So we're looking at the beginning here. Genesis 1, and it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created them. It was God that created them. Verse 2 says, Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. Oh, but the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. He was hovering over the waters. God was getting ready to do something. And His Spirit was hovering over the waters. <laughs> Whenever the Spirit of God gets ready to do something, His Spirit begins hovering. His Spirit comes into our situation and our circumstances and begins hovering. Now, I'm not talking about something spooky because the Holy Ghost isn't spooky. The glory isn't spooky. Some people try to make it that way. But that's not what it is. When we're talking about the glory, we're talking about His presence, His character, His nature, who He is, who God is. God is glory. It's the manifest presence and the revelation of Jesus Christ. Oh, but when God gets ready to do something, His Spirit begins hovering. His glory comes. That's the way that it was when God was getting ready to send the Christ child to earth. His spirit began hovering over Mary. And in the beginning when he was getting ready to create the heavens and the earth. Oh, his spirit was hovering. It was hovering. And tonight in this place. The glory of God is in this place, is in this place. Cause there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's His glory. <laughs> God is getting ready to do something good in you. In you. God is getting ready to do something good in you. And that's why his glory is in this place. That's why the manifest presence of Jesus is in this place. Because he wants to do inside of you what no man can do. He wants to do a work inside of you that comes from the very throne of God. He wants to do inside of you what no man can do, but what only his spirit can do. That's why there's a miracle realm is falling in this place. It's His glory. Well, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. There's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. There's a miracle realm. 
that's falling in the space, it's his glory. It's the very creative glory of God. There's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. There's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's his glory. It's that creative glory of God. It's that same glory that was hovering over the waters when God was getting ready to do something in the beginning. It's that same glory that's here tonight. You know, some people try to think that, you know, try to say that Jesus Christ has changed. They try to say that, you know, the Spirit of God has changed, but He hasn't changed. Oh, it's that same glory that's in this place tonight. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. That same glory that created the heavens and the earth. That create glory is in this place tonight. Oh, if your body's missing the part, you know what? It's that same glory that is here in this place. <laughs> if you need to be healed, 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 oh, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place, so it's His glory. If you need to be healed, 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 oh, there's a miracle. Around that's falling in this place, it's his glory. It says in the Bible that by his stripes, speaking of Jesus, we have been healed. And you know, it's the Holy Spirit that brings that healing and manifests that healing in our bodies. It's that glory that comes, that miracle glory, that creative glory that comes. To make us whole and I've got good news for you tonight that same creative glory that same miracle glory that came and touched sister Sylvania that same glory that came into her life and poured in to her body and took away all cancer all disease all infirmity all sickness that same glory is here tonight it's here tonight. Oh, it's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, it's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's His glory. In John chapter 2, it says that Jesus turned the water into wine. <laughs> Do you notice his spirit was hovering over the waters once again? <laughs> God was getting ready to do something. And he took the water and he changed it into wine. He turned it into wine. That's John chapter 2. And that same glory is here tonight. That creative glory of God is in this place tonight. And he's hovering over the waters, hovering over you. He's coming to take those things that look like nothing and he's making them something. He's taking those bodies that need to be healed. Oh, and he's doing it by his spirit. He's taking those finances that look like they're a mess and his spirit is hovering over the waters and he's turning things around oh yes he's turning things around 
His creative glory is here tonight and He's turning things around. That creative glory of God is here tonight and He's turning things around. Now there's a miracle around that is falling in this place. There's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's His glory. We were ministering in the Arctic about a year and a half ago. And when we went up there, the gold dust began to fall and the glory of God came in such a wonderful display. And everybody saw what God was doing and they knew it was him that was doing it. And, and they went back to their hometowns where they were from and they began talking about the manifestation and the way that God was moving and changing them and, and working among them. And this one pastor went home and began telling her, her daughter that had backslid about the glory and about the gold dust that was falling. And her daughter said, you know, could that really happen? It doesn't make sense in my mind. Well, it doesn't make sense in mine really either. But how many know it doesn't matter what we think? It really doesn't. All that matters is what God thinks and what he wants to do. Because he knows what he's doing. Every time I ever try to do something in my own flesh, I always mess it up. I think that I'm doing the right thing. I think that I'm... I'm going to be successful, and really because I'm doing it in my flesh, I just make a mess of things. But she was telling, this pastor in the Arctic, she was telling her, her daughter that was backslidden about the way that God was manifesting his glory, and she said, I don't think this could really happen. And a few months later, that pastor got a hold of my book about the glory, and I'm not trying to sell the book tonight because I don't really have very many copies at the back anyhow. Okay, this isn't a commercial. But she got a hold of my book and she gave it to, to her unsaved daughter, her, her daughter that was backslidden. And her daughter began reading the book and said, you know, I don't understand this. It doesn't make sense. But she got to the part where it was talking about feathers falling in the meeting and the Holy Spirit manifesting himself in different ways. And then she was sitting on her couch in the Arctic. A feather began falling from the ceiling. And she looked and she thought, well, that's kind of unusual. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Well, God's not a God of coincidences. He's a God of divine appointments. And as she continued to read, another feather fell. <laughs> and she said, oh my God, <laughs> what's going on? And so she took the feathers and put them inside the book and continued reading on. She began reading about the gold dust and the glory dust that was manifesting itself. And all of a sudden she looked up at her wall and glory dust was shooting out the side of her wall, all over the wall and all down the wall. And when that happened, she began crying and sobbing because she saw that God was real and that he was manifesting himself for her. It was that creative of glory that was coming and manifesting itself. It was God manifesting himself. And she knelt down at the couch and she began sobbing and, and crying and she gave her heart to Jesus, back to Jesus right there in that living room. As soon as she got off, off the couch, she gave her mother a call. Her mother was a pastor in town and her mom was so excited to hear that her daughter had just given her heart back to Jesus. And when she heard about the miracles, she said, we need to go on the radio and tell people about the miracles that are happening because this is very exciting. And how many know that when God does miracles, he does it for a reason. He always does it for a reason. And something that we found is that the reason why he manifests himself is for souls and for harvest. Many other things happen. You know, our faith level gets gets raised to a new level and we get excited but all that happens really so we'll go out and begin talking about Jesus and win the lost and so in the Arctic the radio is a little bit different the radio stations and 
anybody can really go on and just make an announcement. You know, you'll be driving in your truck listening to country music. The next thing on the radio, someone comes on, Johnny, it's time to come home. It's supper time. And then the announcement stops and the country music comes back. And so because they do things a little bit different, <laughs> The pastor and her daughter that just got saved went on the radio and they made the announcement of what God was doing in their home, that he was manifesting himself through miracles. And the daughter told everybody on the radio that she'd just given her heart to Jesus. Now the only problem was that her husband was the drug lord in the community. <laughs> and he was out dealing some drugs and the radio was turned on. And he heard his wife come on the radio and make an announcement that she just got saved and that there was miracles happening in their house. And because on the radio she had announced and invited everybody to come to the house and see what was going on, he put down his drugs and he got in his truck and he was ready to come home and beat up a few people. So he drove to the house. And by that time the house was filled People were getting saved, falling out in the power of God when they walked in. <laughs> and as soon as he walked in the door, because the glory cloud was so strong, he immediately fell to his knees weeping and gave his heart to Jesus right there in that place. That's not the end of the story. Now because the drug lord was saved, everybody else that was doing drugs in the community had to get set free and delivered. And you know what? It happened. It happened. It happened. And right now in that community, they're experiencing a tremendous revival and outpouring of the Holy Ghost because of God's creative glory coming and touching the people. And you know what? That same creative glory is here tonight. It's here to touch your life. It's here to bring a miracle to you. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's Hebrews 13 eight. That's the word of God. Oh, that same Jesus that laid hands on the blind and made them see that same Jesus that made the lame walk. He's the same today. It's the same Jesus today. It's that same spirit of glory that's in this place today. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. There's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's His glory. Oh, hallelujah. There's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. There's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's His glory. There's a miracle realm. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's His glory. Glory, it's his glory, it's his 
August over in New England and New Hampshire. And uh, as we were in that church, a lady came in, her body was full of cancer of the bone. And the doctor said that there was no hope for her, no hope left. But she said, as I praise and I worship, I know that the glory of God is going to come on me. And I know that he's going to set me free completely. And as she was in that place, she came and there was, there was not a hand that was laid on her. But the glory of God came down as she praised and as she worshipped. And she felt the cancer literally come out from the top of her head and leave her body. And she told us this at the end of the meeting what God had done. And we were very excited about it. And we said, you go to your doctors and you get the test done. Well, about three or four days later, we were ministering in another church in Rhode Island, and she came into that church, and she had her test results, and she said that there's a miracle realm that was falling in that place, and it's his glory. She didn't really say that, but I just said that so that it would sound good. What she said was that the glory of God touched me, and I'm completely made whole. There's no, not one trace of cancer in my body, but I am completely healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cause there's a miracle realm that's falling in that place. Well, it's His glory. Come on, stand up and sing it tonight. Well, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm. Falling in this place Oh, there's a miracle around It's falling in this place It's His glory It's His glory Oh, there's a miracle around It's falling in this place Oh, there's a miracle around It's falling in this place Oh, there's a miracle around we were in camp meeting a few weeks ago and Sister Jane was there and it was so wonderful to have her there and see the glory of God that was manifested in her life and through her ministry but God began doing something so wonderful in those set of meetings I think it was the night after Sister Jane left. She had just, you know, plowed and plowed and plowed and just brought forth the glory. <laughs> and after she left, the night after she left, we had an offering that was given. And, and God spoke and said that there was financial miracles that were taking place. Even right then at that time, that there was financial miracles that were happening. Much like what I felt tonight as I declared that there's financial miracles right over here. You know what? It, it's not right over here. It's all over the place tonight, okay? Because there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. And it's God touching his people. But that night in camp meeting, as the miracle realm came, and we felt that God was doing financial miracles, he supernaturally began multiplying money, creating dollar bills where there were no dollar bills before creating $20 bills where there were no $20 bills before. He began doing it by his spirit because it was that creative glory that came. Oh, and it's that creative glory that's here tonight. He's touching your needs. He's meeting your situation and your circumstances and he's doing it by his spirit because there is It's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around. It's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around. It's falling in this place. It's His glory. There's a miracle around. Oh, there's a miracle around. It's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around. Oh. 
it's happening. It says in the Bible that the power of life and death are in the tongue. And as we speak for the words of glory, as we speak for those creative words of life, it's bringing life and it's causing his glory to come and to manifest. Oh, it's that creative praise that's creating creative worship, bringing forth creative glory. And in the glory we find that there's creative miracles. Oh, 
body tonight, I want you to come, come, just come, just come, just come, just come. And I'm going to tell you tonight, there's nothing that I can do for you. Oh, but the Holy Ghost can do everything for you. Everything and anything. And in this place tonight, the Spirit of God is here and there's freedom. And there's freedom for your bodies. Oh yes, there's freedom for your bodies tonight. There's healing in this place. There's a miracle realm that is falling in this place and it's bringing forth healing in your body. So lift your hands up into the cloud, into that cloud of his glory. Oh, cause there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's his glory. Come on, as you're lifting your hands up, say this with me. I receive. I receive, I receive, I receive, cause there's a miracle around that's falling in this place, it's his glory. Come on, just take that healing tonight. I receive, come on, pull it down. I receive, take it, it's yours. I receive. that are manifesting even right now in this place because the glory of God is coming down and touching you. <laughs> Isn't it so wonderful when his spirit comes and he does what he does best? He's in the healing business and he's healing many lives tonight. There's some of you that came in with pain in your bodies and the pain's completely gone. Right now, he touched your jaw. Listen, there's a miracle realm that's in this place tonight. What did he just do for you? This morning, I went to bite an apple and my jaw literally dislocated. I spent the whole afternoon laying down and I came in here in pain tonight. And as I was standing there, the Lord just said, open your mouth. And I went like this and I heard it pop and it went back. And he's been manifesting oil in my hands for the last couple of days. It's because, oh, there's a miracle realm that is falling in this place it's his glory come on sing that tonight sing that oh there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place oh there's a miracle realm that is falling in this place oh there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place it's his glory it's his glory Oh, there's a miracle 
you came tonight and you had pain in your body, I just want you to put your hands up in the air. Everybody else, you just take your hands down for a minute. The cloud's not going away. <laughs> Look at this, everybody here that had pain in their body. Now everybody that feels like the pain is completely left, you put your hands back down. If the pain's gone, you put your hands back down. Okay, there's still some. But you know what? The glory's not going away. And so we're going to stay until the pain goes away. Come on. Oh, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around. the last time I asked and you felt the pain go, I want you to put your hands up now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus the glory in this place. Give Jesus the glory in this place. He's working miracles in this place tonight. He's performing great signs and wonders because it's his pleasure. Oh, Jesus. There's a miracle realm in this place tonight. Oh, there's a miracle realm in this place. There's a great miracle realm in this place right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. There's a miracle around that is falling in this place. There's a miracle around that is falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around that is falling in this place. It's His glory. His glory. Everybody that's up here right now, I just want you to go back to your seat, but take that cloud with you. Don't get out of the cloud, just stay in the clouds. I just want you to go back to your seat for a minute.
Listen, there's a miracle realm that's flowing in this place tonight. The glory of God is here and he's working miracles. You saw he's doing healing miracles in this place. He's doing healing miracles in this place. Not only healing miracles, he's doing many miracles. Oh, it's wonderful. It's so wonderful. Isn't his glory wonderful? You know, anything can happen, and it probably will right now, because the miracle glory is falling. <laughs> and that creative glory of God is in this place tonight. And you know, as I declared earlier, that there's a financial miracle realm that's falling in this place for financial breakthrough. It's not good enough just to say that it's here, but we need to act on what God is doing. Amen. And you know, some people have come and they've been sowing because they know that the miracle realm is here and they know that when the realm is here, you need to begin sowing, you need to begin taking a step and doing something about it. It's not good enough just to say there's a financial miracle breakthrough realm here, but you need to step out and do something about it. And I'm not taking this offering for us, for our ministry, but we're sowing into the glory tonight, amen? It's not about us, it's all about Him. And tonight, I just want to give every single person an opportunity in here. We've already had the offering. But I want to give every single person an opportunity in here. As the miracle realm is falling, as the miracle realm is flowing, now's the time to begin sowing seed into the glory. And we're going to be sowing the seed into the, the glory, but giving it to the camp. Amen. But if you need a financial breakthrough in your life, ask God what he would give you right now. What he would have you to give right now. To sow into the glory and to sow into that miracle breakthrough realm that's flowing in this place right now. Just all across this place, ask God what he'd have you give. Just ask God what he'd have you give. Hallelujah. Because there's a miracle realm. There's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's His glory.
October when we came back from mission um, I noticed that in Berlin my eyes were really beginning to fail uh, particularly on my right side I had to squint to look at the computer I felt like the spots were just too small and uh, when we came back it was my normal time for a checkup in October and I got three evil reports from the doctor number one you have cataracts in both eyes number two you have a, a leaking behind your cornea and if we have to do the cataract surgery, it could cause more leaking behind your eye and we'd have to do a corneal transplant. And number three, you have the beginning of macular degeneration. Now I write books, I travel the nations. God uses Al and me as a mom and pop to young men and women in the spirit, in the ministry. And I need my eyes. Yesterday, Sister Jane laid hands on me and believed with me. I never believed the evil report, by the way. You have to make a decision. Whose report will you believe? Let me hear you say it. We will believe the report of the Lord. I'm a faith preaching woman. I got to walk what I talk, right? 
but in the glory, it's even higher than faith. Faith is a foundation for the glory. You cannot get to the glory without faith. You must have faith, even to stay in the glory. Come on. And so when that evil report, those evil reports came, I did not accept it. But the manifestation did not come. I was still having, in fact, three weeks later, I went back because of another incident that happened. And my eye was now 2070. I could only see the big E on the chart with this right eye. And tonight, the yesterday was a little improvement with Sister Jane, and I still, and she believed with me, and I believed with her, and I knew that my miracle was done. But tonight, in the glory, hallelujah, I don't know if you were watching me, I know you were. I kept looking with this right, I was looking at the glory. Now before, rhythms of glory just looked blurred to the right eye. But tonight, I can see it the same with both eyes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! hallelujah. Come on, it's Jesus. It's Jesus that's doing these miracles. It's his glory that's here, and it's available for you. Oh, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. It's His glory. Tonight in His glory, He's touching and changing family situations. It's God's will to restore the family. And in His glory, we find that restoration. And there's a miracle realm here, even where it looks like it's impossible, where it looks like the situation cannot work out there's a miracle around that's falling in this place oh there's a miracle around that's falling in this place oh there's a miracle around that's falling in this place it's his glory You know, all that Jesus asks us to do is just believe. Only believe. There's a miracle realm in this place. Just believe. Just believe. Can't you see his glory falling in this place? All of a sudden, everybody in this place looks so beautiful. It's his glory that's here. Making you beautiful. Oh, hallelujah. Isn't he wonderful? Let's just stand up one more time and just declare it. Let's just declare it together. Why don't you hold the hand of the person next to you? Let's declare it together. Let's unify together and declare that miracle realm of glory that's falling in this place. Come on, just receive, just receive. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle realm that's falling in this place. It's His glory.
yesterday. Now I'm taking her. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. There's a release of miracles.
Come on. Just join the hand of the person next to you now. Oh, look at this circle. Look at this circle. There's a miracle round How many know that the glory brings unity And unity brings the glory There's a miracle round here tonight and I praise God for everything that he's doing here in our midst. I praise God for the healings, for the financial miracles. Listen, don't be surprised if you go home and your finances have changed a little bit. Don't be surprised if you reach into your pocket and God's created some money for you. Don't be surprised tonight when you go home and you find that your body's completely healed. Don't be surprised when you go to the doctors and he says, where have you been? Don't be surprised when you go to the dentist and he wonders who gave you those gold teeth. <laughs> Don't be surprised when you get a phone call from those kids that haven't called you for years. Don't be surprised when you find that God has met your every need and come and done a miracle for you because there is a miracle realm of his glory, of his glory. Lift your hands together up to heaven. Holy Spirit, right now, I thank you for everything that you've done in this place tonight. Oh, we seal your work, Holy Spirit. We seal what you've done, and we receive, and we believe, and we take that miracle. Not only that, but we invite your glory to come and manifest itself. We invite you to come and live inside of us. We don't want a visitation. Oh, but we want a habitation. We want a habitation. We want that place, that habitation of miracles to live inside of us, to dwell inside of us. Let your glory come and be revealed through our lives. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Isn't he good tonight? Hallelujah, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. Oh, there's a miracle around that's falling in this place. It's His glory. 